Is this the new box stock killer? 1.44 volt batteries in here. This is like a speed demon around the track and it'll just blow past everybody else. It's really weird. I, you know that I've got like 18 different box stocks that I play with and toe to toe, this just blasted by everybody and it's just weird. And I think it has something to do with the fact that yes, it's a VZ chassis, it's gonna be a fast chassis. The motor that's in here is not the fastest. It's got a 23,000 RPM motor, and you know, all you guys know, I'm the queen of box stock motors. Like, I can make super fast motors. I made a 29,000 RPM motor, and I, I can't imagine the 29,000 RPM motor in here. This is just going to make it so fast. With a 23,000 RPM motor, it is already so fast. So my 23,000 RPM motor gives me 25 kilometers per hour, as tested on my Tamiya speed checker. Pretty cool. What can I say? It's got various parts that you can remove on this chassis to lighten the load on various parts of the car. So if you need a more front heavy car, you can just remove this back tail. You can remove the canopy. You can also remove this engine cover. And even if you remove all three parts, these little over fenders that are over the wheels right here, they add a little bit of weight to the chassis so that you're going to get something that you've never gotten before in any other VZ chassis car. Not in the Dual Ridge, not in the Neo VQS. Like this car is closest to the race beer in terms of what you get inside the car. You get wide offset tires in the rear, narrow offset in the front. Typically, I don't like that combination, but here it works really well and it makes the car so fast. I feel almost like this is the car that the race sphere should have been. The race sphere has this weird tendency to flip over upside down. All of you racers out there who raced race sphere as box stock know this to happen. Your car just flips over for whatever reason and it even runs upside down. This is not like that because it's got these over fenders, so you're never going to have this upside down running kind of thing. But you know what? Your cars aren't meant to run upside down. So what you get here is a fully customizable car so that you can adjust the weights, front, the mid, the rear, just by removing or adding these parts. It's so cool. So yeah, if I remove all of these parts, this car weighs about 70 grams. If I have all of them in place, it's 73 grams, which is still lighter than so many cars out there. These wheels here are not super hard wheels, but they've got good grip. So on jumps, this will land properly. This will help your car grip onto the surface so that it can beat those other racers after a jump. Pretty cool. I decided to keep the standard configuration where there's just two rollers up front and four in the rear. Typically, you know my reverse roller nation guideline, I like to place the four in the rear up front and the two in the front in the rear. And that has worked well in terms of shifting the weight towards the front. However, when you land after a jump, the bottom rollers always take take a beating. So that's not always the best for all tracks, especially technical tracks with a lot of jumps. But if you keep this configuration on this car, this is going to be so good on various technical tracks, three-line technical tracks. You'll be king or queen of the road with this one. Pretty cool. Now, when I first saw the box, I thought that maybe this car would have been larger than than a lot of other cars because it looks like it's larger. From the, from the box drawing, it just looks like it's larger than, than every other car out there. But it turns out that, look at this, the shell, the body shell itself, is actually pretty small. It's very lightweight, compact. There are a lot of cutouts on it. The canopy, the engine cover, this part here you can remove. When you remove this engine cover, you get a sneak peek at the engine inside. So that's pretty cool. If you paint it properly, the springs that you see, the shock springs, looks pretty cool. It's just pretty cool. And all the stickers here, all in gunmetal. So if you color this gunmetal and this part gunmetal, it's going to look so good. This is like a really nice car. So yeah. Um, the wheels, you've seen this before on Ella Glitters. This is so cool. And they also sell these separately now. So pretty cool, pretty cool. The only negative I see so far in this is the chassis is a little weak. I get the infinite screw syndrome. So what does that mean? It means that you keep turning the screw and it doesn't stop. It just infinitely turns. So there's like a broken tread inside. So it's easy to strip the, the tread when you're screwing the screws in. So it happened in the front and also um, on one of the roller mounts as well. So I was kind of disheartened by that. I think that for whatever reason, they're using cheaper materials to create these chassis now, and that's a shame. Uh, they could be using more recycled products in their plastics, and that could account for the lower quality chassis. I don't know, that's only conjecture. But yeah, it's pretty cool. This car is very lightweight. It's fast as, fast as anything. And yeah, this is, this is probably going to be your new favorite car. So I suggest go out and buy one and experiment with it because I'm sure you'll be pleased. It's so good. <laughs> this is like one of my new favorite cars now. Pretty cool. If you like this video, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos just like this one. Until next time, everybody. See you. Bye.